Hey everyone, as a child we don't know what to do, how to do and why to do. We just do things for the fun of doing it. Slowly we are trained to do things through a series of punishment and reward system. When we do something and our parents say things like, this makes you a good girl or we get a reward for doing something, we tend to believe that that thing is right. And when we hear things like, you cannot do that, you should not do it, this makes you a bad girl or get punished for doing something. We tend to believe that that thing is wrong. Slowly, we tend to fear punishment and fear not getting reward and start pretending to be what we are not, just to be good enough for someone else. We usually pretend to be what we are not because we are afraid of being rejected. This creates a belief system in our mind, just like book of law. We follow that book of law irrespective of the book being right or wrong. That is why we need a great deal of courage to challenge our own beliefs. 95% of the beliefs we have stored in our minds are nothing but lies. And we suffer because we believe all these lies. Human society is ruled by fear. We have suffering, anger, revenge, addiction and so on. If we compare human society with the description of hell that religions all around the world have promulgated, we find that they are exactly the same. Which means we are living in a dream of hell. To be alive and be truly ourselves is the biggest fear of humans. For example, teenagers have drugs just to avoid being rejected by other teenagers. The limit of our self-abuse is exactly the limit that we tolerate from someone else. The more self-love we have, the less we will experience self-abuse. Self-abuse comes from self-rejection. And self-rejection comes from having an image of what it means to be perfect and never measuring up to that ideal. We go through all of this because we agree with them. Deep in, we have made agreement with those things. To live life of joy and fulfillment, we need to find the courage to break those agreements that are fear-based and claim our personal power. There are four powerful agreements that will help us break those agreements that come from fear and create a personal dream of heaven. The first agreement is be impeccable with your word. This is the most important and difficult one to honor. It sounds simple, but it's very powerful. When you say something, your words create power and it manifests everything. It is a tool of magic. It can create the most beautiful dream or destroy everything around you. Your word is pure magic. And when you misuse it, it becomes black magic. Human mind is like a fertile ground and word is like a seed. Impeccability means without sin. The sin over here is different from the sin considered in many religious books. Over here, sin means anything that you do which goes against yourself. Everything you feel or believe or say that goes against yourself is a sin. You go against yourself when you judge or blame yourself for anything. Self-rejection is the biggest sin. So being impeccable with your word is not using the word against you. Your word produces a reaction which means if I love you, then you love me. If I insult you, then you insult me. To understand this agreement completely, I'll share a small incident. A woman comes home, tired, full of tension and has a terrible headache. Her daughter is happy in her own world and sings loudly. The woman is unable to bear her headache and yells, Shut up! You have an ugly voice. Can you just shut up? Daughter believed her mother and no longer sang as she believed her voice is ugly and would bother anyone who heard it. She became shy at school and if she was asked to sing, she refused. Even speaking to others became difficult to her. Mother didn't realize what she did. She misused the word and that spell worked as black magic for her daughter. Worst form of black magic is gossip because it is pure poison. Gossiping can be compared to a computer virus. Stay away from it. The second agreement. Don't take anything personally. Anything that other people do is not because of you. It is because of themselves. Everyone lives in their own dream, in their own mind. When we take something personally, we make the assumption that they know what it is in our world and we try to impose our world on their world. The agreement gives immunity towards black magic. Let's consider the previous incident again. If the daughter didn't took her mother's word personally, then she wouldn't have considered her voice as ugly and gone through all the sufferings. When you don't take anything personally, you set yourself free from suffering. If you practice the first two agreements, you will break 75% of the teeny tiny agreements that keep you trapped in hell. Write this agreement on a paper and put it on your refrigerator to remind you about it all the time. 
Trust yourself to make responsible choices. You are not responsible for the actions of others. You are only responsible for you. The third agreement. Don't make assumptions. Problem with assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make an assumption that others know what we think and we don't have to say what we want. They are going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, then we get angry, we feel hurt and think that, how could you do that to me? You should know. We assume that everyone sees life the way we do and this is the biggest assumption that humans make. This is mostly the reason why married couples quarrel so much. They simply assume the other person to know what they want without they saying about it. The best way to deal with this is by communicating. Ask questions. The day we stop making assumptions will be the day when we start communicating cleanly, clearly and free of emotional drama. Without making assumptions, our word becomes impeccable. The fourth agreement, always do your best. If you always do your best, then in no way you will judge yourself. Actions make you happy. Hence, do your best to be happy and not for reward. People work for paycheck and think they have to work because they have to pay their bills. Hence, they consider their work as sufferings to get the paycheck. And when they get their paycheck, they are still not happy. When you do action just for the sake of doing it, without expecting a reward, you will find that you enjoy every action you do. Rewards will come. You might even get more than you have imagined for yourself. When you do your best, you learn to accept yourself. You do your best because you want to do it and not because you have to do it. The first three agreements will only work if you do your best. The four agreements are a summary of the mastery of transformation. With this, you can transfer hell into heaven. Let's recapitulate the four agreements. First, be impeccable with your word. Speak good words as it reflects back to you. Second, don't take anything seriously. Trust yourself and not others' opinion about you. Third, don't make assumptions. Communicate as clearly as you can and ask questions to avoid assuming. Fourth, always do your best. Do things because you want to do it and not because you have to do it. This was the key takeaway from the book, The Four Agreements, written by Miguel Ruiz. You can get the physical copy of this book or the audio version from the link given in the description. Smash that like button if you like this video. Share it with your friends and family to spread awareness about this transformation. Subscribe to our channel Send Growth for more such content. Hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as we upload a new video. Watching videos of this channel will also help you in improving and growing each day, as the summary videos are made from the books written by experts. Remember, small changes each day can create huge impact at the end. Keep learning, keep growing. This is Chitra Deva signing out for the day. Meet you all tomorrow with a new book summary.